And now, KITV4 Weather. Aloha, welcome to Weather Now. Let's check out our rainfall totals. We got some widespread shower activity, but uh, nothing too significant. Uh, shy of a quarter of an inch for Pi'ihoonua, West Wailuiki, as well as Mount Waialeale, but nothing significant. We could definitely use more rainfall, especially with those drought conditions. But look at more active picture than this time yesterday. Some yellows embedded in those showers, and that's just briefly, moderately intense shower activity. It's going to be more so for the southern and the island chain for our Wednesday, and then for our holiday, our Thanksgiving, more so for Kauai and Oahu. Again, everything's going to stay on the move. It will not be a washout. According to our rain forecast, track it anytime online. All the activity that comes through will be on the lighter scale. So wouldn't hurt to have that umbrella or rain jacket with you, but really, again, not expecting a heavy washout for the winter, especially when we are usually a bit wetter. As far as our surf, not too bad. We got another reinforcement there out of the northeast, giving us some pretty decent conditions with double overhead for the north-facing shores. We're going to get overhead uh, sets for the eastern shores with another moderate east northeasterly due in Friday. This is going to coincide with some very strong trade winds, so we'll probably uh, likely exceed that eight foot face threshold of a high surf advisory for the eastern shores. Everywhere else should stay under the criteria. Now, as far as the high tide, it was earlier this morning, the six o'clock hour bottoming out in the one o'clock hour at point two. Small craft advisory, as promised, that is up for most Hawaiian waters, and it's going to get stronger in the coming days, so be careful with that. As far as our conditions today. Uh, it's a little bit warmer to start off the morning. That's because our trade winds push in a few more clouds that traps in that daytime heat. So those very cool mornings that we've been enjoying the previous days, it's not going to be the case as long as we have the trades in the picture. Uh, 79 the high for Kapa'a in the one o'clock hour as well as Kahuku. 81 degrees for Waimanalo and 83 for both Makaha as well as Kapolei. Trades are back. They're getting in that moderate range. Some areas, the usual breezy spots will probably enjoy some higher gusts out there. And then and sometime Friday, we could probably see a wind advisory put up. But in the meantime, calmer conditions, especially for the Kailua Kona side, it's probably going to get very hot out there. High of 84 for Waikoloa, not a whole lot of wind speed to cool off the land. Into the extended forecast, recapping some of those changes. Wet conditions last through our Thanksgiving holiday. Very breezy weather, drier weather into the weekend. And then we lose our trades by the start of next work week.